with that, I'll do closing comments, if I might. First and foremost, what I would like to say is I am one of the luckiest people in the whole world because I work with 29 of the best senators in our nation, and it is an honor working with each one of, it, one of you. The other thing is we are lucky. There are only 30 of us in this body. Um, most of us are seasoned uh, legislators. We had many years over in the House. Some of us came over here. So we, uh, we have always been very involved with all the innuendos of what happens in, in uh, politics. The House, they're not quite as lucky. There are 90 of them over there. Many are freshmen. Many um, have not, uh, I'm sorry, 60, thank you. Rick is collecting me. 90 total, <laughs> Freudian slip. There are 60 over there, many freshmen, many who, um, you know, who are very passionate, but they also need, you know, we have to learn about how the process works. Um, there were some great comments here, um, and I'll go with that. So let me start with saying, first of all, um, we have amazing staff here as well. They are awesome. Um, the governor, I wouldn't want to be in his shoes for anything. Uh, having to deal with something like this um, and not understanding, uh, not, not, don't want to say that he doesn't understand, we all don't understand exactly what this virus was going to do at the time, what it might do six months or a year from now. We are all learning from this, and so um, it's, it's walking that tightrope. Do we open, do we close? We have a, exactly what you've all said. Many people said, let's go to work. You know, the cure is worse than the disease when we have businesses failing. So um, now that we're, we've seen more about this, we have more statistics, at least we're having a getting a little better handle on how best to handle this. Um, so for that, I, I, I uh, thank our governor for having to deal with this. I know it's been extremely, extremely hard for him. Second, I wanna say, please remember the pandemic is not over, folks. You know, it's real easy for us to say, oh yeah, we're starting to lift and go back and, and start resuming some of our lives, which is wonderful. Our number one priority is get people back to work, get our businesses going. But please remember, this pandemic is still out there. This pandemic is still a real threat and people will get sick. Thank God, and my, my heart is with all of those families who lost loved ones and for those who were ill. But thank God that it wasn't worse. Um, I pray for everybody in New York, in New York. They, they got hurt horribly. So we were very fortunate as a state, and we want to stay that way, right? We want to stay fortunate, so let's hope that we're continuing in the right direction. Every single one of our senators on this floor, and both parties, I know that everyone here wants to continue their work. That's why they're here. That's why they have run and they put their lives on the line and why they work so hard, because we do want to get our business done. We're not walking away. I promise you that. We are going to continue to work. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try and explain, because you're right, the public doesn't understand the nuances of how politics works. So let me explain very quickly. We do have about four or 500 bills that are hanging out there. About four weeks ago, we had asked the House if they could please start looking, and we were gonna do the same, looking at a small list of bills that we thought that if we could come back for two or three days safely, not knowing whether we would be out for two weeks or two months, um, what could we possibly do, preferably directly COVID related or economic development or something? We all had a lot of really great bills. I do. I had great bills too. They're dying. Um, but we realized that in this pandemic that, uh, that we have unique challenges here. So we had asked, could you please come up with a few bills? Um, and you heard some of that on our floor today because um, it went from, yeah, we'll do a few bills, and then a week and a half ago, the last thing was is, no, we just want to come back and we want to hear all of those bills, complete with committees, complete with everybody else, with everything else. Um, a little difficult to do because the pandemic's not over, and I said, if we're going to come back and we're going to do major policy in those kind of bills, then we won't do it until the doors are fully open for the public and the media and everybody else to be here because we don't do policy behind closed doors. We will do it when people can come in and sit next to each other and be in committee and they can talk. 
Um, I think a lot of people have realized that that just isn't practical to do, given the fact that we're still in a pandemic. That we could be two, three, or four months before we get to that point. In the meantime, we're not getting any work done because we don't have that done. Um, so we have outlined a plan. Uh, let me also say one more thing about that. This is an election year. The heat is turning up as far as the temperatures and the weather. People are still very conscientious about staying home. So the thought of coming back, remember, if we come back, all of those bills go on the floor and there will be, as you saw during normal session, there will be many arguments, many debates, many discussions, and uh, we have seen where bills sometimes take three or four hours to get done over in the House because they are, um, they're very involved with their, their uh, um, bills over there. So what we said is, let's try, and be, let's try and be smart about this. What is the number one important thing that we need to accomplish? We need to get people back to work. We need to get our businesses back up and going. We need to make sure that that's our priority right now. The other bills are, are they're good, they're important, but that's not our number one priority. So what's the best way to do it? Some of us believe the best way to do it is to signy die um, and the only thing that you do when you signy die is that you can immediately start working on special sessions. What it does is it starts narrowing the focus of what it is we exactly want to accomplish. We get to narrow that focus and say this is what is important to us, this is what we need to get done now. When this is done, then we can move on to other things in the future. The governor has promised uh, special session. Um, in fact, I'm sure we're going to have more than one special session. One of the first things that they want to do that they are currently strongly working with all of the chambers throughout the state, mayors, everyone else, is this liability bill, as well as some other reform bills that will help us get our economic development back and going. What can we do to help these businesses that have been shut down for a month or two months? What can we do to reach out to them and help them? What can we do to help people get back on their feet, back on their lives? Which means, you know, making sure that they get caught up on their mortgage payments, make sure that we get all those things, the daycare, all those things, but we still have to be safe about that. We still have to take care of it. So we believe, some of us believe, that we could, we could better do this in a focused agenda with signy die and start working on that part immediately to do all those things. Next, um, and this is, I made a public announcement the other day, a press release. Next, the Senate, right after, um, in the first beginning of August, right after the primaries are over, we will be immediately setting up task force committees. They will be composed of House members, Senate members, ninth floor professionals. Um, we want everybody to weigh in um, about the things that, what did we all learn out of this? You know, when we go through an experience, what's the best thing? We're, we learn from things like that. Um, so consequently, we know that all 50 states and the nation as a general rule, we all experienced a number of things. We all experienced things of what we did well, what we could have done better. One thing was is we weren't and nor were any states prepared to be able to handle with an IT, with a, uh, with a personnel, to handle that many unemployment claims and checks that quickly. Who'd have thought, right? So those are all those things. Education, Senator Allen, she is like our champion for education for K through 12. And she was constantly calling or texting me saying, our poor kids, we, they're trying to do homeschooling, we're trying to do this, we've lost, you know, poor uh, graduation, all those great things. I want Senator Allen to be heading up that education committee because she knows that we were not in a position to see that when this happened, to flip a switch and say, okay, everybody goes to online. Okay, everybody, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rely on her expertise. I have Senator Kerr out there who's been working very, very hard. She's in the agriculture and the beef field. This all has to do with the supply chains, the food on the tables that was brought up. We have such great members here. Senator Farnsworth, um, he is, he's my Jude chair, right? And he is very, very, very intent on things such as um, constitutional issues, judicial issues. What did we learn out of this? What can we ascertain 
Um, what authority do people have or not have? What do mayors and council people have? This goes on and on. Public safety, our public safety uh, folks and chairs, those are issues we had to look at how they did their business. Health, there are so many things that need to be addressed and we're gonna start working on that in August. And we want people to weigh in and say, here's what we experience and find solutions to that. So whether this does come up again, pray to God that it doesn't. But if it does, we will be better prepared. We will have some answers and we will be able to handle these sort of emergencies much better. Next, we will try and get as much as we can get done through these special sessions. And we can do a lot but the nice thing is, is we do things that we can agree on, that we can come to a consensus on so we don't have the battles on the floor and we can do it safely, get the work done, then we can just come in and we can vote just like we did today safely if we're still in this sort of a situation. All of those bills that we are left out there, and there's a lot of good ones, if we are not able to get them, feasibly get to them because they're, for whatever reason, what I am proposing that is in October, all of those bills, we will have leg council redraft those bills. We will designate them as 2020 bills. I'll put, we'll put a little asterisk on it. Well, we can do the information that says these went through committees, here were the votes, here's everything else. And I will be asking, if I'm still here, <laughs> I will be asking our chairs, normally, you know, that first week or two, we don't have committees because we're waiting for bills to be dropped. What I would like is for these bills to be ready and on day one, we get them dropped and our committee chairs can have committees up and going and these bills can be heard first. We can expedite them if we need retroactive clauses on them, if we need emergency clauses on them, we will do that and we can work through those issues and we will do them as, as efficiently as possible. So we are gonna work and, uh, and then you know, we are hoping and praying that this will be over in January, we can come back and we can start bouncing back the budget. We are probably gonna have another special session just to deal with um, going over budgets. I'm sure there's a lot of things. So we have a plan, we have an idea. So we are not, um, oh, let me say one more thing. So we talk about whether we're signing dying or, dying or not. The Constitution and our rules, they say that yes, what we are doing right now is we said, that the, how, that the Senate has completed its labors and is ready to sign a die. Now this is for our current session. Now it says we're ready. It does not take effect until the House actually accepts it and they will send their people over and we accept theirs. Now as I said, they have 60 amazing members over there, but it is also very confusing over there sometimes. And it's hard for them because we've been going around and around with this. So what we're doing right now is we are sending a message to our House members is that we have a couple of options because we want to get back to work. We want to keep doing this. So one option is we do sine die and we immediately start working on the special session, working with them and the governor to get bills done and get them done so that we know that when we send them up to the governor, he's going to sign them because we did them right and he helped us do it and, and the public helped us do it. So that is an option. The other option is, is we've heard members saying, you know, we j okay, we just want two bills now. Now I know there's a lot of people that disagree with it because they want all their bills, but I have heard that there are a couple bills. That's okay too, because we're sending a message to the House and saying, if there's one or two bills that would help us immediately, directly, that you all can get on board, you get a consensus with, we'll check with the ninth floor, make sure that we've dotted our I's and crossed our T's to make sure they're on board, by all means, put it together and bring it over and as a Senate body, we will gladly look at it and, and if, it's, if it's ready to go, if it's ready for prime time, if we need to amend it to make it that well, we are definitely willing to do that. But because they need more time over there to be able to come to a consensus, um, which we have tried to do for the last four or five weeks, um, this is our way of saying, we still wanna work from you, but we are, putting the ball in your corner and we are saying either sign a die and let us start our special section session or get your bills together, the couple of bills you wanna do and bring them to us, we'll come back and then we can do something. So that's what this message is. We are all ready to work. We have all worked harder, I think, since we've been out on recess than we have during, during the time, it's been crazy. 
So for that, you are all amazing. Thank you, and I look forward to continuing working with you. And uh, we've got a plan laid out, and hopefully we'll move forward with that.